Hello everyone, welcome to Ark's Fatalis. This is an RPG released in 2002 by Arcane Studios. This was actually Arcane Studios' first game, and they later went on to make quite a few exceptional ones, like Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, and even more recently, Dishonored. In 2011, Arcane Studios actually released the source code, which spawned the Arx Libertatis patch, based on the source code that fixes a ton of problems and just kind of increases compatibility with modern computers and different OS's and stuff like that. Which is actually the patch that I'm running, as you can see up here. Version 1.1.2. The uh, most noticeable effect of that patch for me personally was just that it vastly, vastly improved the performance. Because before the patch, my performance was abysmal. And after having the patch installed, I typically get over 60 FPS. Although there's occasional kind of weird hitches, but for the most part, it's pretty smooth. So I would highly recommend that. And you can also grab Arx Fatalis from Steam and from GOG, so I'll have links to all of those and to the patch in the description. Now, I've actually played this game before. I played it for a bit, uh, a really long time ago. And I just, for some reason, started trying it out again recently. And I realized just how cool it is. There's so many cool things going on here that I can't wait to show you. And I just decided I want to share it. I do want to warn you, though. There's a pretty good chance that I actually won't finish the game. I've looked up how long this game takes to beat. And apparently if you just do the main story, it's about 20 hours. And if you do the main story plus a bunch of extras, it's more like 40 hours. Which is just a ridiculously long time. That's a really long game. And I'm thinking that there's gotta be a reason I stopped playing it before without finishing it. I don't actually remember what the reason is, but I do know I stopped, so... There's a pretty good chance I won't finish it. But I just really want to show you how cool this game is, and I'm just gonna play it for as long as I find it to be fun. So let's jump in. New quest. There's so many cool things in this game. Okay, so there's uh, four different character models I can choose from. There's a kind of generic looking action hero. This dude, this dude, and then there's kind of like the magic looking guy. I think I'm gonna go with this one because he looks like uh, an, an old guy who's has like a five o'clock shadow and is kind of tired of life, which for some reason really appeals to me. Even though he looks absolutely nothing like me and I'm only 22 years old, so I certainly hope I'm not tired of life yet. But nonetheless, let's go with him. Okay, now we have the stats. So I've got 16 points to distribute up here, strength, mental, dexterity, and constitution. These do pretty much what you would expect. I think I'm just going to almost evenly distribute my points between these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, let's go with that, except I think I'm going to take one point out of dexterity. It uh, increases your chance of critical strikes during fights. Also affects technical skills, stealth, combat skills, and object knowledge. I think I'm going to take one out of, out of this and put it into constitution. So the one point in constitution is giving me two more hit points, as you can see here. And also a little bit more resistance to poison. Which seems to be quite important in the early game, because there's a lot of spiders. So pretty balanced there. Now, let's put some points into skills. Okay, so I've looked up kind of like a guide online on what skills do what and kind of which ones matter. Uh, apparently, Ethereal Link is not really important, so I'm just going to skip that. I don't really care about stealth. Technical skill I care a lot about. This is, uh, it's important for picking locks and disabling traps and stuff like that, which I really want to do, so let's actually get that up to 30, I think. I may take some points out of that, actually, but I'll get up to 30 for now. Intuition, um, I've heard intuition doesn't really matter either. It, uh, helps you detect hidden objects and stuff like that. And also allows you to get better deals in trading. You know, better prices, better, uh, more money if you sell, and things cost less money if you buy them, but I'm just gonna leave that there. Object knowledge is also very important for identifying objects and making potions, which you can do, by the way. Poisoning weapons, repairing things. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Casting is also important. There is a magic system in this game. A very interesting one, too, as you'll see. I won't talk about it. I'll just uh, show you what's going on when we get to it. I feel like I'm missing something, though. Something doesn't seem right. No, actually, I guess this is fine. Hmm, yeah, actually, I want to get close combat up to 30. Seems like a pretty good spread. 
I don't care about projectile. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be using any ranged weapons. And I've heard that the selection of ranged weapons available to you is actually pretty paltry. So I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, this should be pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's give this a shot. A bunch of tutorial messages. Uh, I don't think I need to pay attention to them. I've gotten pretty well familiar hey. with it. Hey, what's up? Stranger, we have to get out of here. My memory, it's gone. I remember nothing. Not even my own name. What, what, what did I come here to do? The gobblers probably crept up on you from behind. Bloody gobblers. Come on, look around your cell. There has to be a way to get out on your side. I can't do anything on my side. I just want to say up front, too, that it is incredibly refreshing to play an RPG that actually allows you to actually start playing and moving around in the world and interacting with stuff within, like, the first 30 seconds. So many RPGs have, like, 20 bajillion hours of cutscenes and crap, but this one is just like, no, just play the game. And I love it for that. It's so cool. Alright, so we're in jail. Somebody tried to claw their way out? No, I, I think they just went insane. Ew. Hey, hey. Nah, me not talk to human. Screw you. The uh, the voice acting, as you heard, by the way, is kind of hilariously bad. It's it's actually really really funny. You can throw stuff, by the way. Uh. Here, this will cheer you up, man. Doesn't even fit through the bars. This person had a big head. Alright. Let's gather these mushrooms. Gonna use that for baking and or making potions, I suppose. Alright, so we gotta get the hell out of here. How do we do that? I think... Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, when it highlights it, it makes it easy. Let's move that. Hey, well done. Thank you. You might want to wait until I've escaped to say that, though, because the goblin might get a little bit suspicious. Be quiet. All right, let's uh, sneak mode. Sneak mode? Here we go. There's sneak mode, and then there's crouch. All right. There we go. Do I have it equipped? Yes, I do. Okay. So, yep, got my, got my bone equipped. I'm a near-naked dude with a huge bone in my hand. No euphemism intended. Whoops. Alright, the controls are a little bit weird. They're kind of um, convoluted, I would say. So I'm probably going to be accidentally entering the menu quite a few times. Alright, let's go into combat mode here. I don't think I need to be crouched. What's the point? Alright. see if I can sneak up behind him. The thing is, my sneak skill is actually not very good. So, he's probably going to see me, but let's wait here and see if I can get him when he turns around. Okay, he actually doesn't see me. Sweet. I'm going to beat him in the back of the head with a bone. Eh? Eh? You not move! You don't even have a weapon. Mm. Oh, yeah, I haven't even taken a hit yet. Ah, human! Oh, he got me once. Okay. What do you have on you? A note and a carrot. Let's take it all. The uh, the buttons, I don't think... I think a lot of the UI, maybe all of the UI, has not been scaled up for higher resolution, so a lot of stuff is very, very small, as you can see. Brilliant! You've got him! Now, please, open my cell. Eh, I might open your cell, if I feel like it. Alright, let's grab all this food. And yeah, that's another cool thing. I mean, a lot of these objects you see around here you think would be static. Especially in a game from freaking 2002. 
but they're actually not. Like, all this stuff, you can move it, you can pick it up, you can use it as weapons. I'm actually going to take the bones to use them as weapons. Uh, I can't take the plate, but you can throw it. Like, it's a very interactive environment. There's levers and stuff. You just open my cell. Oh, be quiet! I'm talking to an audience. Okay, fine. You want out? I'll let you out. Thank you, Amshigar. If you can't remember your name, you better keep this one. It means, he who has no name in a foreign tongue. <laughs> My name is Koltar, and I was part of the Traveler's Guild before I ended up here. Amshigar. Yes, I'll keep this name for now. What is this Guild of Travelers? Well, you really have lost your memory, haven't you? Our world no longer has a sun to heat it, and outside is nothing more than a huge expanse of ice. Only those who are trained and equipped for extreme conditions are allowed to make the dangerous trek between fortress cities hidden deep in the mountains. These people are the Guild of Travelers. Right. We shall discuss this later. Now let's get out of here. I am injured. I won't be able to get through this hole. I'll stay here and wait till you can open the door. Don't worry about me. I just love the voice acting. It's like, right, this is interesting. We shall discuss this later. Let's go by. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the world that this is set in is actually very interesting. As far as I know, the entire game takes place completely underground. It's, uh, it's really neat, actually. Alright, so I'm supposed to smash this thing so I can get through. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't think there is. We can try to break through the trap door on the floor. We may be able to find an alternate passage through there. Yes, yes, I know. Let's see if there's anything else to get, though. I don't think there is, but uh, maybe there's some spare mushrooms? Hmm? No, it doesn't seem there is. Okay, let's just leave. It seems it will not open so easily. Alright, I think I need to smash it. There we go. All right, goodbye. I'd also like to state that this game has some of the best, most exceptional footstep sounds I have ever heard. The footstep sounds are so ridiculously good, I'm just in love with them. You might not be able to tell yet, I mean, these sound good, but trust me, you'll you'll hear. You'll hear. Oh, yes. Alright, no, put the bone away. Let's, let's pick up this stuff. Can gather lots of plants and ferns and whatnot, medicinal herbs, mushrooms, all of that stuff. Use it for crafting later. Wall block. Um, I can't pick those up. I don't know if I can do anything with them. Wish I had a torch. Oh yeah, I think you've got some stuff on you, right? Yes. Leather leggings. And I have some runes, or whatever they're called. Yes, runes. Put them in your book. Okay. So we gotta use the runes. Okay, wants me to cast my first spell. Alright, so let's introduce you to the casting system. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so that's the formula for this. So this is for Ignite, as it says. It's a little bit hard to read, but yeah, I have one spell, and it is Ignite. And it's made of these two... runes. Lights flammable materials such as torches when they give in radius. Whoops. Okay. So, let's go ahead and cast it. Let's see if there's a torch nearby that's unlit. Is there? Actually, let's put my pants on. Yeah, let's go ahead and put my pants on. There we go. <laughs> now I have pants. Which took my armor class from 2 to 4. Okay. Ah, listen to those footstep sounds. It changes depending on whether you're wearing any shoes or not. So good. And it changes based on what you're walking on too, as you'll hear soon. Yes. Alright, torches, torches, torches. Ooh, there's one. Alright, so let's light this thing up. So, it's uh, it's got a magic system where you actually have to draw the runes. 
there we go. Is that freaking cool or what? So the spell is made up of, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, this rat is going to attack me. Fuck you! Yeah. And you can take the rat's uncooked ribs, which, by the way, you can actually cook and eat. It's really cool what you can do. It's amazing. I was like, you could actually do this in games in 3D in 2002? Like, damn. Oh, there's another one back here. Boom. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Oh, it's a torch. <laughs> I just accidentally lit this torch on the ground. Hold on, let's uh, take that. There we go. Okay, so when you have a torch in your inventory, you can light it up as... Uh, just like a flashlight, basically. Just kind of an on-off sort of thing. But, uh... It does have durability. It's got 19 out of 20 durability, so you can't just use it infinitely. It will burn out. And you can also queue up up to three spells. So if you hold down a couple keys and cast something... You can see in the uh, bottom left here, this little blue symbol means that I've queued up one spell. So if I keep doing that for up to three... There's two. There's three. So now if I press the uh, the numbered keys, one, two, or three, it will cast those saved up spells. Which is not too important when you're just lighting torches, but if you're in combat, you really want to have spells saved up, because otherwise you're going to have to be casting these in real time. Which, as you can imagine, trying to cast like a fireball in real time is not pleasant. So I can just press the uh, number key. So much stuff you can do, it's so cool. It's so cool. Some more ways you can interact with the environment. So I need to get up this lift here, but the problem is... It's missing a belt. Or actually, it's missing a rope, rather. Yeah, double-click on the rope in your inventory once you found it. I have not found it yet, so let's go exploring for that rope. Actually, wait a minute, hold on. I just realized something. I never read this note. Yeah, hold on, I forgot to read this note from the uh, goblin. The jailer goblin. Me come replace you after me eat. You watching humans. You is be careful with new one. Him dangery looking. Anatoly Fettuccini. Listen to these different footstep sounds. Listen to this. If the foot lands on the gear, the tiny little gear, it actually makes a different sound. Well, kinda. Okay, it happened like once, but here, here is a better example. Those footstep sounds are amazing! Look, three different footstep sounds right here. You, you have the, uh, the, the bricks on the ground, you have the dirt, and then you have the metal. Just listen, it's amazing. So good. Also, there's a spider coming after me, I think. Hi. I hope no one out there has arachnophobia. So the best way I've found to do melee combat is to try to tease their attack out of them and then use that as the opportunity to... There we go. Use it as the opportunity to go in. I hear more. Just light up my torch. So try to tease the attack out of them. Come on. There we go. Damn it. Oh, shit, my bone just broke. I think I just equipped another one, and I'm poisoned. Ah, another one broke. Yeah, these bones are very weak. Oh, come on. There we go. Double damage. Sweet, another torch. Uh, cure poison potion, which is good, because I am currently poisoned. 
Although I think I'm just going to wait it out at the moment. Okay, there's the rope I need, and there's some food. Sweet. Gonna save my torch. Let's see how far down it, it's burnt already. Yeah, it's already down to 12 out of 20. So let's go use this rope. Although... Actually, first, let's light this fireplace up. Let's replenish my spells. Okay, so let's show you the cooking system. Actually, hold on. Mushrooms. Yes. I don't think you can bake mushrooms, but... Uh, Alright, let's do this. So I have a bunch of uncooked ribs. So you actually just put it right down like on the fire or next to it. And it just cooks. Here's a couple of fresh fish as well. And there you go. Nice and cooked. It's an incredibly cool system. It's, it's very satisfying. It, it scratches a sort of survival itch that I have. Alright, got some bread, got some cooked ribs, got some cooked fish. See if we can cook a mushroom. I don't think we can. Nah, I'd be making a crackling noise right now. Uh, but you actually can make recipes, though. You can combine, like, uh, flour and water and then bake that into bread. So some very cool stuff you can do. And yes, by the way, you can burn yourself on fire. I saw a frog, and then it just disappeared. Little ninjas. Water lilies. Alright, I, I was exploring around when I was playing this before, and I noticed this. Uh, Anakar's a rock. I have no idea what the hell it is or what it does. It just says, Anakar's a rock. But I'm assuming it's valuable. So I'm going to hold on to it. There's a frog. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I wonder if I can kill it and, like, cook it. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Maybe if I actually snuck up onto it, that could have helped. Okay, let me make sure I've explored all the way around here. Went there, went there, loops around back here. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, there's a map. Wait, 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 I haven't been here? Apparently I've not been... ...here. Oh, it's an unstable wall. I cannot break it just like that. It's too sturdy for me to break. Hmm. You know, I think I tried to break this before, and I just couldn't find a way. I think I just kept breaking bones against it. It's too sturdy for me to break. Yeah, I just broke one. I'm almost out of bones. I cannot break it just like that. I actually don't know how you break it. Uh, can, can I, like, throw a wall block at it? Uh. Uh. Seems like it should work. Can I use it on it? No. I actually have no idea how to break that. Maybe you can come back later or something? Like when you have a sledgehammer or something? Yeah, I don't know. It's too sturdy for me to break. Alright, let's get up the lift. Those footsteps are so sexy. So sexy.
the environments feel really claustrophobic. Because you are underground constantly. I mean, just look at the ceiling. Like, the ceiling is almost touching my head. Feels very confined. Which is actually kind of strange. If you think about it. Because somehow this game manages to feel confined and yet kind of open at the same time. Because on one hand, you're stuck underground. In these confined environments. But on the other hand... It is fairly open world. You can go wherever you want. It's not it's not linear by any means. So it's kind of an interesting mix. I should probably be saving my game. There we go. That's the one thing I really like about old games. Me bring you back to cell now. Oh hi! Okay, well my buddy's here. Uh, I was gonna say, the one thing I really like about old games is that the saves are so quick they're practically instant. Okay, back to fighting. Ow. Die, you bastard! <laughs> Ow. God, this dude's huge! Think you can hurt me? Papa will eat you whole! Come on, get him! There we go. By the way, I was being really careful there because when I played this one time, I accidentally hit him once. I just accidentally hit him once. Just once. While fighting this dude. And he was my enemy forever after. Every time I came back here, he would just try to kill me. So I was being very careful. Their, uh, their allegiance is fickle, let's just say. Pile of coins. Cool. And what the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's a handle for a mechanism thing. Okay. Just after you went through the hole, I heard a noise. So I hid and waited till the goblin came in. This time, I got the drop on him, sneaky bastard. Nice. Hmm. I think I can light this one up. Mm-hmm. Alright, this is the one I have to repair. There we go. Reservation. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. Can't see much of anything. Looks like there's a rolling pin on that table. And that's about it. Okay, well, fat loots await me inside. A rolling pin. Let's see if I have anything else to cook. Nope. Maybe I can bake Anakar's rock. Did I just make a water noise? What the hell? Why did that make a water noise? Let's try it again. It's never going to happen again, is it? Weird. Yeah, <laughs> this is the very strange level transition system. So, y like, up these stairs is the next level, but you don't just keep walking and then it loads. Instead, an icon pops up in the top right. A uh, very small icon, and you have to press it. It's really bizarre. Okay, now there's going to be a lot of enemies around here, so let's go ahead and make a permasave. <laughs> footsteps, oh my god! I made a hard save, right, where you can really demonstrate the good footstep sounds. Because, god, this sound amazing. Alright. Time to do some fighting. joke for you. Good. <laughs> me like jokes. You tell me joke. <laughs> you know why gray goblins <laughs> have mustaches? <laughs> no. To remind them of their mothers. 
<laughs> that funny, huh? <laughs> Not funny. Me mother is Grey Goblin. Uh, right. Uh, oops. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love the conversations in this game. You'll regret it. Come on. Ah, things got really far reach. Get lost. You. Oh crap. Oh crap. Hold on. Oh no, I'm out of weapons. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, quickly. I need the club. I need the club. Wait, where's the club? There it is. Okay. Uh. There we go. Okay. Wow, you really are dumb. <laughs> Come on. Woo! That was a powerful blow. I literally made him exploded. I exploderized him. Okay. Take a backup club. Pack of cards. <laughs> I, I can move the cards as one unit, but I can't take them. Uh, what? Man, those cards are really sticky. The hell, have they been eating glue? I can't even move the bench. Look at this. Gemstone, it's gotta be valuable. And a couple torches, cool. Now if I remember right, there's something under some people's pillows. I don't know if it's this one. Nah, it's gotta be another one. I just remember finding something under somebody's pillows. I think it was money. So how much attack do I have with this thing? Oh yeah, I leveled up. Holy crap, I totally forgot. Um, let's see. I've got, oh, whoa, I've got 15 points to spend here. Um, oh, crap. Unlike in character creation, you can't undo the points. Okay, I need to be more careful. <laughs> I've just put a couple into object knowledge, which is perfectly fine. That's fine. Let's get some more into casting. And... Actually, I think I should get more into casting. Because apparently if you get uh, 30 points, you can use the Fireball spell, which is apparently the most important spell in the entire game, pretty much. I don't know when you get to learn it, but let's just get it up to 30. And let's go for Technical Skill. Alright, now I need to spend one up here. Hmm. See, strength is knowledge, skill, and the combat skills. <sighs> yeah, skill strength. Okay, damage went up by a bit. Cool. See, so yeah, my club is damage plus three. Oh, this is the cell that I originally escaped from. Me hungry. Some water and a leak. So this would be the guy that the guy I was just talking to um, ambushed. Alright, big guy in there. Oh shit, he saw me. Okay. You're terrible at combat. I haven't even taken a single point of damage, you incompetent fool. Taking a lot of hits, though. He is taking a lot of hits, I mean. Double damage.
Another club, I'll take it. Join the club. Ha, ha, ha. That was stupid. Hey. Who are you? Aren't you on the wrong side of those bars? Me, Polteus. You help me, and me help me. Uh, you. You open door. Give me one good reason why I should. Me help you if one day you need you. Uh, me. Goblin's honor. Um, well, just honor then. It is a very good idea to help him. In fact, I'm not sure if you can actually progress in the game without helping him. Maybe you can, but, uh, yeah, there's a good reason to let him go. As you'll see soon. Thank you! Me go to tavern, upstairs. If you need Porteous, go to tavern and ask for Porteous. What's inside of this cell is actually a rather sad sight. Yep, it's a goblin who hung himself. And for some reason you can spin him around, which is kind of grim and disturbing. Uh, I'm just gonna reach behind your body and uh, <clears throat> take these mushrooms. Rest in peace. What the hell? Wow, things really like to get stuck up in the air. Okay, there's a bunch of different ways to go. Let's just explore everything, gather as much as possible. Hmm. I think that's the way I need to go, so let's go everywhere else first. Bring it on! Human. Holy shit, you are fast. Okay. I want that sword. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here. This guy is much better than the other ones. Okay, whew. I was really close to dying there. Okay, let's uh, take the short sword. I think it does more damage than my club. Yeah, it does damage plus four instead of plus three. A oh, cooked fish, thank you. All right, let's check out what I've got. Okay, the short sword has durability 50 out of 50, so it's not gonna break anytime soon. So let's just dump the uh, wooden clubs, replace it with a sword. There we go. Now, you can't eat to restore health, but I need a lot of health. I, I think the wine actually gives you a ton of health compared to the food. For some reason, I have no idea why. Yeah, give me a bunch. Eat a bunch of bread. Some ribs. Some fish. And we're good. So, yeah, it takes a lot of food. And now I've got a sword. Now I just need a shield. Ah, a set of tools. That's for lockpicking. End of Goblin Kingdom. My torch just went out. Now, I might be able to lockpick that, I'm not sure. A goblin game! Oh crap, I didn't mean to eat that, I meant to pick it up. Whoops. I messed up. That's gonna be my downfall. Now, if I remember right, when I played before, I tried to lockpick a door. I don't know if it was this one, but I tried to lockpick a door with, like, all five durability of the tools. The five durability means you get five tries, and I failed every single one. Despite having a pretty good lockpick skill, so that might be the case here. Uh, let's try it once. It's too complicated for me. Ah, damn it, you idiot! It's too complicated. Well, learn better. 
Yeah, I guess I have to come back here. If I want to lockpick it. Okay, is this a level transition? No, it's not. Hi. You'll regret it! Damn! I think there's location specific damage, because I think I just hit him right in the head and it well cut off his head. Grim. Not gonna get too bent up about it though. I mean look at the fucking disgusting things he's been doing down here. Ew. Ew. Make squishy noises. Ugh. Oh yeah, this is what I tried to lockpick, because if you look in there you see like an anvil. Um, I think there's equipment. Yeah. Look at that. A sword and a shield. So, let me try once again. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Yeah, the thing is though, I don't know if it's failing because it's impossible, or if I'm failing because it's a percent chance. Like, I don't know if it's a percent chance and if I keep trying there's a possibility of actually getting through, or if it's guaranteed to not work. I don't know. But I don't think it worked before, when I tried five times last time I played. So it's probably not going to work now. So I'm just going to save the durability. Alright, so can't get through that door, can't get through that door. Now it is time to go this way. Here is human. Yeah. yeah, it is location specific damage. I hit him right in the head and it cut off his head. That is very cool. Disturbing, but cool. There's someone sleeping. Alright, let's be careful. No reason to fight if we don't need to. Some flour. I'll take that. If, if I can. Oh, I can search it. It's a container. Okay. Life potion, excellent. What you is oh dead shit! Me, human. Mm. I'm gonna try to hit him in the head. Mm. He's really tall, though. You. Ah, I think it worked. <laughs> My tiptoe was not enough. Is it you that has the money under your pillow? No. A bunch of papers and a key. Let's take a look. I don't have my torch on, do I? No. I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory now. Uh, key to the goblin's outpost, okay. Unsigned goblin authorization, yes. That's going to be important later on. Let's look at this, though. My dear goblin friends, as our agreement seems set to continue, I would like to confirm my order for two more humans to sacrifice to our beloved Akba. You will receive 1,000 gold pieces per head upon delivery. I will bring you this princely sum in person. Lord Iserbius. <laughs> Making sacrifices to their god. Disauthorization. Owner free, go through Goblin Kingdom, delivered by... Unsigned. Must sign it. Which, by the way, the prisoner, the Goblin prisoner that I freed, can do. So that is what that's for. I'm already forgetting where I've been. I came from... I came from there. Went to sleeping guy, can't go there. 
Haven't been forwards and haven't been here. Okay, so what's up here? Here is human! Wow, my sneak, my sneak skill is really bad. You is fight like girl goblins! Man, just aim for the head and you're good. Wow. Another bottle of wine, sweet. Who go there? If you is come for trading, me need to see you's written authorization from boss himself. I me have to see you's Gem dealer badge. Remember, you give me an authorization and gem dealer badge. So this is the place I need to pass through. And I can't do that yet. Need some more paperwork. I wish you could mark places on the map. I don't believe you can, can you? No, I don't think so. Because I remember, I've gotten lost quite a few times in this game. Despite the map, it's kind of hard to tell what the hell is what and where is what. And where is what and what is what and who is who and... Yeah, it's confusing. Okay, been there. Uh, been to the left, can't go that way, so this way is the only way to go. Now this, I think, is a level transition. Yep. Alright, so here it opens up a bit. Into a cave. Or, actually, I suppose this isn't a cave. Wait, is it a cave? Underground cavern? Whatever you want to call it. Some bad things have happened. Someone's assaulted this castle. I'm gonna steal some cheese off a dead body. That is disturbing. I suppose I'll take the sword just in case. It's at uh, 20 out of 50 durability, but still, it's something. Broken shield. Ugh. At last, the reinforcements. Go and see Ortion immediately. The reinforcements? I'm sorry to tell you, I'm no reinforcement. place has been burned. It's a grim sight. Ah, yeah. A mortar and pestle. Can use that to grind up ingredients. I think this can be used to repair equipment. Let's take this hammer, too. I should be able to repair my weapons with that. Yeah, um, I'm trying to remember how that works. So my current weapon is 48 out of 50, so there's no point in repairing that yet. Uh, but what if I used this weak one, 20 out of 50, what does that do? I cannot improve them any further. Okay, so it takes down the max durability, but it improves the current durability. So it went from 20 out of 50 to 25 out of 25. It's not damaged. So 30 out of 50. Let's see what happens to that. I'm guessing my skill is just not good enough to do anything I spectacular. Improve them any further. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, so the max durability has gone down a little bit on that one. Let's dump this one. 36 out of 49. Cannot improve them any further. Yep, 40 out of 44.
I think I have two hammers now. Don't I? I do, but they have different icons. That's weird. One has durability 50 out of 50, and the other doesn't. What the hell? I don't understand. Anyway, it's kind of a grim time to do this, but uh, I think I might be able to make bread. And let's grind up some ingredients, too. So if we use the mortar and pestle... we go, get some colorful powders. Sweet. I have no idea how to brew potions with that stuff, though. But uh, let's see if I can make some bread. I've never actually done this before. I think I have a bottle of water. I think. Yeah, two bottles. Okay, so if I combine flour with a bottle of water. There we go. Bread dough. Look at that. And then if I put that next to the fire. I think it's worth... <gasps> it even rises! That's so fucking cool! Look at that. I've never done that before in this game. That is so cool. As someone who's actually made bread in real life, and uh, bakes occasionally, this is really, really cool. Closer. Get closer, my dough. Although I don't think it would rise that fast if you didn't have any yeast in it, but whatever. Small details aside. Uh, hello? There we go. That is so cool. Oh, right. Back to the massacre. Looks like some of them were killed in their beds. Hey, chicken. <laughs> Looks like it's pretending it can fly. I can fly, I can fly, look at me! Now, I think I can slaughter these animals and, like, cook their meat and stuff, but I really don't want to. And I don't need to, so I'm just gonna leave them. I see you, carrot and leeks. By the way, apparently you can even bake apple pie. Yep, no joke. Apple freaking pie. Oh, Jesus, that body on the wall. Locked. Locked. Okay, these I might be able to lock pick. Let's see. It's too complicated for me. God damn it. Jock and Hagar, or whatever your name is. What is your name? I know that's not it. That's from Game of Thrones. I actually don't remember his name. What the hell is his name? Um. It's funny, because the guy told me, like, I'm giving you this name, don't forget it. And then I literally forgot it. What the hell is his name? Ah. I'm a forgetful old man. You must forgive me. Hmm. Alright, well. Oh, I mean, I haven't tried this one, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna save my uses of my lockpicks. Civilian? I am Orthian. Captain of the King's armies and commander of this outpost. Are you a mercenary? Can we count on your help? Mercenary? Perhaps. For now, I have just put some distance between myself and a couple of goblins. What happened to you? We were attacked by a small group of Ilsids. They wounded me and took three of my men. The Ilsids? 
Two hours ago, three of them infiltrated the outpost. They attacked without warning or provocation. The Ilsid have earned a reputation as fierce and unstoppable warriors, and now I've seen it with my own eyes. Their speed is unbelievable. In a flash, they disabled and dragged off three of my men. And you must have seen what they did to Karnak. I don't know why they did that. But I do know it would be long before they return. Find someone else to help. I have my own problems to deal with. You are my only hope. I cannot trust the rabble at the tavern. I'd sooner trust a total stranger. I just told you that. You have to go to the castle and tell the king what has happened here. This is of vital importance. Since the last earthquake, the path to the castle has been blocked by a cave-in, and we have been unable to get through. You must tell him that the Ilsons have declared war on us. This is ridiculous. You've just told me that the path leading to the castle is blocked. <laughs> you should be able to go through the goblin's cave two levels down, and find a way back up to this level. It's dangerous and roundabout, but we have no choice. If you find a way back up there, you should be back in the human kingdom once again. Impossible. I've only just escaped from a goblin prison. Here, this will help. It's a gemstone dealer's license. As long as they think you're a salesman and you don't attack them, they'll probably leave you alone. I have to stay here. You are our only hope, brave mercenary. Man, some of that, uh, not just voice acting, but also just the writing itself, is just hilariously weird and... and... I guess just bad? It's bad in a funny way, though. Like, I just told you that. Wh what does that even mean? I just told you what? My character is like the most heartless bastard. Like, nah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Jesus. Very yeah, well, if you want to get up anytime soon, here's a chair. Can I put it? Wow, okay, that's weird. Oh, I can actually drink water. <gasps> can I take a bath? I suppose this is inappropriate given that this man is dying right here. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Oh, bunch of money. Logbook and a bunch of bottles of wine. Cool. Some arrows, but I don't have a bow. Okay, well, I can toss out my lesser weapon here. Because now I've got two 50 out of 50 weapons. Actually, the one I'm using is not 50 out of 50, but it's close. 48 out of 50. Close enough. I'm going to have to clean out my inventory soon. Got too much crap. Anything I can process? My mortar and pestle? Nope. I can stack these torches. No, I can't. Alright, what did he give me? Gem dealer's license? Yep. Gem dealer license... Number blah blah blah, officially delivered by King Lunshire and the Almighty King Alatar. Alatar. Okay, so I have the gem dealer's license, but I still need to get this signed. Also, I wonder... I've, I've never actually tried this before, but I wonder if I can fill bottles of water. You can! This game is so cool! And I'm assuming when you use a bottle of water on flour to make dough, it leaves the, uh, the bottle behind, right? It does! Oh my god. I'm gonna make so much bread. I mean, I could just keep stacking it, so there's really no reason not to. Okay, I'm gonna leave some flour, though, just in case I want to make something else. Okay, eight breads should be enough. You know what, um... In case you get hungry, actually... Here you go. My treat. Now it's a full meal. Actually, he needs something to drink. Um, there you go. Alright, I gave him a lunch. Yeah, 
that. Jesus Christ, look at what they did. They didn't just kill them, they slaughtered them. Like, that is not a clean kill. Ah, uh, that's the... The rocks blocking the path to the king. I'll never be able to move all this myself. Gotta go around. Gotta go through the goblins, which means I need my authorization. Yeah, this is not the work of people that simply want to... Just simply want to kill people and, and conquer and take over. No, this is the work of... Evil. I mean, look at this. Okay, well, this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I think this gives a pretty good look at some of the basic systems in the game. The, uh, you know, the combat, the environments. You saw a little bit of the skill, the spellcasting system. And the baking stuff, and using objects on objects, and just all the cool stuff you can do. So it's kind of the basic systems. Uh, there's a lot more to it, of course. I'm relatively limited in where I can visit at the moment, because I'm just trying to find my authorization papers and stuff like that, but yeah, pretty good overview of the game. I'm uh, going to keep playing, of course, but for now, I'm going to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.